This is Terry McDade, a.k.a. The Pirate Hunter. And this is going to be an in-box kit review of Maquette's 135th Limited Edition German Panzer Jaeger I high-tech model, kit number MQ3507. Now, the ones of you who have seen my build review and my kit review of the Maquette uh, field kitchen that I did, know that I was slightly less than enthused, you might say, on some of the stuff. But I had stumbled on this on eBay, and I made a comment when I did the review on this and, uh, that I had thought about buying this kit, but I didn't know based on the previous experience. Well, the price was pretty good on this. It was $22 and some odd cents with shipping. So I thought, well, we'll give it a try. So, I have opened it up and I have looked in there. There is a couple items that I did contact the seller about and he was very good about it. And he said if there's any problems to let him know, I could have returned this and that. But being time a glutton for punishment, I decided to keep it and continue on with it and we'll see what happens. The box art is fairly good. It's a picture, a DAC picture, and from what I've read on this, I've done a bunch of research on this, on when they were built, when they were used, and where they were used in this. So that is fairly kind of representative, I guess, of uh, North Africa on it. So let's look at the rest of the box, and then we'll look inside of it and see what we have. The side has uh, this 135th high-tech model, uh, Maquette, made in Rocha. The end of the box has the same uh, as the front of the box, box art. This side is the same. So let's open it up and see what's inside here. First thing you see when you open it up, like I said, I have looked in here, is the directions on this. Let's look at them and see what we got. Uh, on the sheet one here, I guess this is sheet one here, it has, it's not a very good quality uh, directions on it. I'm going to set the camera down here a little bit, or the tab too. On this, uh, has your sprue map here and here on it, the two different sprues. Then down here, it starts into your assembly instructions on this, and they are very kind of hard to see on it. Uh, this side, this sheet's a little bit better. It's a yellowish kind of cheaper paper, but you know, it's no big thing. You can see mostly what they are on them. The resolution's a little bad. Uh, this page, which is page two, has step three, four, five, and six, five and seven. Okay. Uh, shows this uh, total hull assembly, putting the accessories on a lot of the hull on this. Down here it shows putting more uh, stuff on the hull shows putting the rubber band tracks on. Now this is interesting because on this it does come with the rubber band tracks but it also has a bag of individual tracks in there but no directions on it and doesn't say who they're from. This is sheet here it shows uh, make two pieces which is apparently this size that shape down inside here to fill in this side shows the stuff that goes inside there shows the gun assembly on it and it has a note here that says I don't know if you can see it or not right here that says centerline five tenths millimeter I guess is what that usually means uh, shows the assembly on it putting it in there this sheet this page here this is part of the hull assembly, but it's kind of these sheets you're going to have to go through and look at them because you're a little bit out of sequence because it shows this, but your hull assembly sheets was the other one, so you just got to look at both of these. It shows uh, a drivetrain on it, assembly on it. It shows then the rest of the assembly for the driver in it, and then a side view of, I guess, how this all goes, I'm guessing on it. Then on this side it has uh, a rear view and a front view of it. 
then it shows uh, Panzer Jaeger 1 in Aberdeen Tank Museum. Now this uh, SP gun is in its is in Koblenz Tank Museum, photo by us. It's a Loga. Um, not what I would call a whole lot of uh, really good resolution on these pictures. They're kind of like they took them and just scanned them in on uh, a copy machine on it, on a grayscale copy machine. Uh, some other pictures of the, I guess, the gun. Uh, top view of the vehicle. Side view. Uh, another side view of the shield. Yeah, it's a 19, it says 1995 on this drawing down here. And then some other views here, but they're really hard to find. But looking at this, since I bought it on the internet, there is a large amount of photographs of both interior and exterior of this vehicle. So we'll start with the sprues in this. The first is the hull assembly. You got a lot of floaty things down in here. I hopefully it's it is just flash that has fallen off of the parts down in here. I don't know. Uh, this is <laughs> this is something they've just kind of grown. <laughs> this is a Grouse Creek field engineered here somehow out of something. It's like. Uh, Either it didn't didn't mold good or something, I don't know. But I have a whole lot of plastic styrene sheets that I think I could probably probably put it together and make it work, I think. So let's look at this. Whoops, we just broke something here. I don't know what it is. Uh I think it's I I think this is uh, stuff they've molded that it's like a screen. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but it's got tools on it. <laughs> the same cabinet emptor comes to my... Okay, that's what it is then. This I, it has to come out of this. This is mega flash on this. And this apparently has to come out of this. I think that's what it is. This has to come out of that. Okay, now it's starting to make a little more sense there. This, okay, this is the way they have cast this thing, or injection molded it. Um, this is all flash with the way they're in. Instead of being on a regular sprue, they're kind of done with this kind of stuff on it. Interesting. Like I said, I, this is the first time looking at it. This is one of the screen. The this is all your drivetrain parts that it shows in that one build. Uh, transmission, front drive. This is something. I don't know. It's a little small. Very warped up little pieces here, uh, almost like a railing, something like that. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it's kind of warped up and tweaked up. It's some kind of railing thing there, or something. We'll have to see if anything works like this. This apparently is the ammo canister that. Maybe you, yeah, I can probably get in and save it on it, I hope. Um, this is another section of the hull of some kind, some section of the hull on it. Then this is another, some, I, some other part of the apparently on it. So this is all how they've this is part of the gun oh this is the gun shield half one part of the gun shield this is the other part of the gun shield oh lord have mercy on me um, 
this <laughs> this is some other small parts on it this is all parts uh, this apparently is all the not one section where it shows uh, putting the stuff in and cutting the pieces these apparently a lot of this is for the gun shields on it this is something I don't know what it is uh, it'd be nice if the instructions were a little bit clearer to help when I'm trying to put this together I said this is another part of the drivetrain on it pretty flashy on it a lot of flash so oh lord we'll put this all back in here it's a real real thin oops yeah, it's real thin stuff. That just broke that, but it didn't break the part on it, just the flash on it. Well, I said a lot of flash on a lot of this stuff. And it is kind of warped and tweaked. Oh, Lord. Maybe I'll end up making some of this. This could be quite a project. As uh, that one, this one is really, really warped, if you look at it. Really, really warped. I probably, I've got some thin sheet styrene. I guess I could make something for it, but it wouldn't have quite the detail. This doesn't have what I'd call a lot of detail on it. So, uh, I said it's really warped. I'd probably heat it up, straighten it out, get it to work. This is, I said, a screen with some something on it. Some kind of, I'm, oh, these are, I'm guessing... I don't know if you can see these or not, but I'm guessing these are from that one drawing, the control levers on it for the driver. That's what those are. I'm pretty sure this is a firewall on, or wall on it. This is some other parts here. This <laughs> is a lard. Now there's that, that one. Let's see. Let's see what else we got. Here is here's the tracks, the individual link tracks on it. I they're in a sealed plastic bag. They're not. Uh, like I said they're all individual tracks. Let's open them up. See what they look like here. They are, and I, you oh boy, they are a lot of little individual links on it. A lot of little tiny links on it. So, they are, they're attached in three places on these right here, you can see on it. These are attached in three places on each one which will really be a lot of cleaning up on this if I go ahead and use them <laughs> uh, and decals are floating around loose it has it in Russia on it the, I don't know if you can see it on it but you can see on the decal right here where there is a lot a lot of stuff out around the outside of the numbers on it and the Balkan cruise, there is a lot. You'd have to trim these up pretty good on this. Apparently, looks like the, well, I got one black Balkan cruise. But if you look at these, you can see where right there is the edge of the material that sticks down around the outside of the decal on it. They're a thicker kind of decal on it. And inside this one, I opened it up. It had these two plastic bags that have been cut open. Now, this was listed as a new kit. So, I, when I contacted the seller, he said, I, you know, if I wasn't happy with it, contact him back. But beans and glutton for punishment, I decided to keep them. So, there's that portion of it. Now, this bag, this is all gray plastic on it with a lower hull. Here. 
here's the hole, upper and lower hole on this, viewports, some of the tools, the jack, uh, tow hooks, shovel, upper and lower hole, so there's a Bezda on the bottom of it. It's a Bezda? Really? So, yeah, this is a Zab this is a Zabesda kit. Part of this is a Zabesda kit on it. So apparently, I'm guessing Maclet now is using a reboxed Zabesda kit with their stuff that's setting over here that they have put in here to convert it to the kit that it is. Okay, now it's starting to make a little more sense. A little light bulb comes on. Said there, this has not got a lot of flash on it. Detail looks pretty good on it. Now there is some flash around it, but nothing really that major on it. Let's look at the other part of this. This has got all the drive wheels on it, all the road wheels, suspension system, stuff that I don't know what it is. So, it looks kind of decent on it. Let's see what the figure looks like. Eh, not too bad. Really, it's not too bad. Faces, I don't know if you can see it or not on this. But the face has got a pretty good amount of detail. The trench coat he's got on isn't too bad. A lot of attach points for uh, injection molding. The tow rope that's right here. I don't know if you can see it on this because this resolution isn't this good on it. But it has got a pretty good amount of detail on the tow cable. Found on a lot of attach points for stuff for injection molding in this. Then this comes with a set of the rubber band tracks, and there's a mesh set there of it. Typical rubber band tracks. There's nothing else in here. Anything else? Oh, okay. There is one other item. The gun. That's the important part of this. you got a self-propelled gun. This comes with a white metal gun assembly in it. <laughs> the barrel's got a slight tweaky in it. So, yeah, you... Yeah, I think it's got the tweaky so it makes it so you can shoot a little farther, you know, get a little more range because it's a little uphill, but it'll straighten out without any problems on it. It's fairly stable. It'll take a little bit of straightening out on it. A little bit of a mold seam line on it. These are different parts of the gun assembly. On it. They're not too bad. The details, I don't know if you can see it on it because I said I'm doing this on a tap tip. The details are fairly good on it. A couple little pieces that are kind of tweaked here, but we can straighten them out if they need to be. I don't know if they are or not. So there's a lot of small detailed parts here. They're white metal. The res detail looks halfway decent on them. We'll see what at when we get into it a little more what it looks like. The end of the barrel uh, it'll be a little. Uh, I'll get it eventually straightened here. On it, the end of the barrel is plugged. Uh, no openings for the muzzle brake on it. So. <laughs> And no, I'm not going to spend that kind of money to go buy me another gun. To uh, There's another gun assembly. This spend cost me more than the whole kit cost me with shipping on it. We'll make it work. We'll have fun with it and make it work. Okay. Now, 
based on everything that I have seen in this, and like I said, there's some pieces missing, I really don't, <laughs> I don't know whether I could really recommend this kit or not. It is, uh, it is not a really good quality kit. So apparently, on that Zvezda kit portion of it, you get, they've taken a Panzer I kit and left most of the stuff, apparently all the stuff, I guess, for a turret assembly on a Panzer I and then used their stuff to make it into a self-propelled gun. So, if their parts were a little better quality, yeah, I'd feel a little better about recommending this thing. But based on uh, them side shields, you can make them. I guess I can. I've got enough shield, to, enough stuff to make shields with sheet styrene. But this is not. This is another one that I wouldn't recommend for a beginner on this. The instructions are very poor quality. Um, they're very hard to read. They uh, don't show you a lot of detail on the parts. So. All things considered, well, I guess this is another one that I can start on. I'll start on it after I get done with a Welcome to Potsdorf build, and before I do my next review on it. Again, this is Terry McDade, a.k.a. the Pirate Hunter. I like to beat my head against the wall because it feels good when I quit. And to quote the great Jerry Springer, take care of yourself and each other.